Hey everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com. I am your GPR professor, and today I want to come at you with a quick video about multi-frequency systems, another video about multi-frequency systems, um, just to show you the benefits of using multiple frequencies or having multiple different antenna kind of in your toolbox and use the right tool for the right jobs. There are a number of benefits to multi-frequency. Uh, I'm going to highlight two right now. Um, with some data. So I'm actually going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you uh, uh, two pieces of data um, collected that, that show, I think, the benefits of this. Okay, so here we go. All right, so what we have here is we have uh, a data with 700 and then a data with 250. Okay, 700 and 250. And what I want to draw your attention to, and sorry if I'm going to get a little shaky here, but this right here, right, the 250, which has a longer wavelength and obviously worse resolution, identified a single reflection event uh, at 45, right? At a distance of 45 um, and at a depth of about, oh, I guess it's about, you know, 25 inches below the surface. Now, uh, great, we found that there was a reflection and it, it is, a, well, it would be a pipe or something, a utility or something like that, and, and we can avoid it or know that it's there. Here's the difference though. The same exact, the same exact uh, target, right? 45, okay, about 25 down, with a 700 megahertz antenna, which is a higher frequency and has a better resolution because it has a shorter wavelength, actually identified multiple reflection events at that same exact place. You see that? Multiple reflection events, okay? And you can't really see it well on this paper here, but there was a third kind of up there, eh, you can kind of see it, you know, right here, one, two, three, um, but clearly two. And, you know, that just really goes to show the benefits, right? I mean, let me see if I can kind of get these two in, in, in the same picture here, right? Kind of shift it over, you can see the 45s, look. So one reflection event, multiple reflection events. This had a, sh a, a short enough wavelength where it was able to identify multiple uh, uh, reflection events indicating multiple buried utilities at that one spot. So um, just a great example of how the higher frequency, right, so this is 700, okay, 700, higher frequency had better resolution and gave you additional information about what was going on below the surface. All right, ready? Example number two. Bear with me. Uh, all right, so now same thing. We have 250 on the top and 700 on the bottom. So let's go with the 250. In this case, and you can see the soils are, are terrible, right? I mean, I'm getting pretty substantial signal attenuation at about 45 uh, inches below the ground surface. Um, you know, so so pr pr pretty rough, you know, just, just over a meter, you know, maybe, maybe four feet below, we're struggling, you know, with signal strength. But at 30 feet in this transect, right, you can see a very clear, reflection event, a hyperbola, um, that is a sewer, okay, that was about two meters deep, all right, it's a sewer, you know, just, just under two meters deep, very uh, nice reflection, good, good work, 250 megahertz. Now, we're going to move down, right, and so that was at, again, that was at 30. So let's move down, and what do we have here? I mean, that's what we have. Now, I would be hard-pressed to interpret that as a reflection uh, event, uh, it's, 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 there's really no signal left with the 700. What you can see, which isn't as good, but you can see it, is you can see the trench. So that's a nice example of being able to see the trench where you can't see the pipe, but you cannot see the pipe. So same exact data set, you know, uh, uh, except with a 700 megahertz antenna versus a 250. In this case, the 250 held up its, uh, let me see if I can show these again together a little bit, right? The 250 held up some strength deep enough to hit the target and the 700 did not. So benefit 250 will go deeper than the 700, but right 700 will have better resolution than the 250. So just a couple examples of uh, um, of the benefits of multi-frequency and this just to go show some you know actual data. This is actually unprocessed. Uh, data, but um, just to show some actual data and how having multiple antenna or a multi-frequency system can be very helpful, right? Two different transects, two different 
you know, pieces of information from each. And in one case, the 250, the lower frequency, was what allowed us to see it. And in the other case, the 700, the higher frequency, is what allowed us to see, uh, um, you know, the multiple target. So hope this was helpful. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Uh, we're going to try to bring you a lot more videos, uh, you know, in the future. And just trying to, to train as many people as we can with some good quality education uh, at the Learn GPR YouTube channel. So subscribe, like the video if you felt that these were good examples of how multi-frequency can be a benefit. And um, uh, go over to learngpr.com and put your name and email address in and so we can uh, send these to you every single week. All right, thanks. Good luck with your surveys.